Miniature Peristaltic Pump Replacement Instructions. Part number A46005126. Pump tubing replacement for RECD analyzers micro pumps. The pump specifications are as shown. The peristaltic pumps are located in the liquid enclosure. Before proceeding with the tubing replacement, read the reagents MSDS. Use extreme care with any reagent spills during tubing replacement, and wearing protective clothing, gloves, and eye protection is highly recommended. First, stop the analyzer in standby. Then, open the liquids enclosure, and disconnect the reagent's inlet line from the miniature pump. Use extreme caution with any liquid spills. After this has been completed, and using manual mode, Activate the peristaltic pump for 10 seconds, the pump will air, and the internal tubing will be cleared of any liquid. First, disconnect the outlet tubing, and use extreme caution with any liquid spills. Then, using an Allen key wrench, manually unscrew the three screws as shown. Next, remove the plexiglass pump cover. Then, remove the three black rollers and the used tubing. Disconnect the pump tubing from the inlet and outlet fittings. Properly discard the old tubing. Next, insert the new tubing onto the inlet and outlet fittings. Now, insert the fitting and position the tubing all of the way into the pump head body. Using manual mode, activate the peristaltic pump for one second, and insert one roller at a time, onto the free position, where the roller is not in contact with the tubing. Repeat this for the three rollers. The next step is to place the plexiglass cover back onto the pump. Then secure the cover back on, with the three Allen screws with your Allen key wrench. Using manual mode, activate the peristaltic pump for 180 seconds, which is 3 minutes, to settle the tubing position. After this has been done, Reconnect the outlet tubing of the pump. Reconnect the reagent intake tubing to its container. Again, using manual mode, activate the peristaltic pump for 45 seconds to prime the pump. Repeat these steps for each additional pump that requires a tubing replacement. The maintenance frequency for tubing replacement is 70 working hours. It is possible to calculate the maintenance frequency for each analyzer simply with the number of analysis cycles per day, and the reagent's volume dose for each analysis cycle. For example, if 4 analysis cycles per hour, which is 96 analysis cycles per day, and a volume dose of 15 seconds for each analysis cycle, then working hours per day equals 96 cycles times 15 seconds divided by 3600 which equals 0.4 hours per day. So the maintenance frequency equals 70 hours divided by 0.4 hours per day, and that equals 175 days. So maintenance every 175 days for this example. Contact ECD analyzers for questions and solutions to your liquid analytical requirements. Our technical experts and worldwide sales representatives are available to assist you. Thank you.